Hi, and welcome to this Digital Tutors training kit on rendering workflows using Metal Ray and Maya. Throughout the course of this training kit, we're going to have the opportunity to explore some of the tools and techniques that will really help you get the most out of Metal Ray and show you how to get spectacular rendered results with less time, allowing you to work more efficiently. So some of the techniques that we'll have a chance to look at are things like global illumination and how we can control things like light bouncing to get very, very realistic results as far as controlling the way that light bounces and reflects off certain objects and certain materials. And we'll have the opportunity to explore these techniques using both outdoor and indoor light situations. We'll also have a chance to take a look at final gathering and image-based lighting to take a look at how we can get very, very realistic results with very little effort on our part. Also, we'll have a chance to take a look at caustic patterns and how they can be generated using Metal Ray to very realistically simulate the way that light bends and refracts through either a transparent glass object or any kind of a opaque, shiny material. Also, we'll have a chance to explore some unique metal ray materials that will give us very realistic results without a whole lot of computation time. And these materials can be used to be simulating very, very realistic objects. So, highly realistic glass, things like very realistic car paint type shaders, also realistic subsurface scattering shaders to control the, the way that light passes and interacts with skin and underlying tissue. From there we'll have a chance to delve into participating volumes and participating medium in order to realistically simulate things like fog and smoke that can occupy our scene. And in addition we'll take a look at how we can create our own mental ray phenomenon shaders to be able to collapse uh, complex shading networks down into single simplified nodes. So that's just a handful of the topics that we have to talk about. So as you can see we have a lot of material to cover in the course of the next few hours. So let's go ahead and get started.